Hello, it's been a while. I don't even remember the last time I uploaded a video, but I know a lot has happened since then. Just been doing other things. Got married, finished renovating our house, sold our house, bought a new house, got pregnant, and today is my due date. If I'm looking a little more puffy than the last time you saw me, yes, I'm 40 weeks pregnant today. <laughs> I'm not really sure what possessed me to get back into this time-consuming hobby on my due date. It's perfect timing, honestly. You guys know I'm all about the lip balms, the lip masks, anything hydrating for the lips. So today I wanted to look at the new Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Gloss Balm. I'll compare it a bit to the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I always get questions about how lip masks kind of compared to that one. That seems to be everyone's standard. Not super in depth, but I'll touch on that throughout the video. So this is 30 Canadian or 22 US dollars. You get 15 grams of product. Quickly comparing that to Laneige. Uh, Laneige is 20 grams, so you get more product. It's cheaper in Canadian, it's 29, but in US it's 24, so it depends where you live. The packaging on this one is adorable. I mean, everything that Glow Recipe, I think all their packaging is pretty dang cute. Looks like a little plum, looks cute on display. So a few of the claims, uh, non-sticky is a big one that they right off the bat mentioned. It has hyaluronic acid for increased moisture and just giving your lips a nice plump, full appearance. The plum blend has vitamin C to smooth and the raspberry extract prevents moisture loss. The first time I put it on, it was in the, the evening-ish, kind of right before dinner. I noticed it was two hours before I felt like it had fully absorbed. And the next day my lips felt great for the whole next day. I didn't even put it on the next day. As I've kept using it, I feel the same. A little bit goes a long way and you don't have to put it on every single day in order to feel hydrated and moisturized every single day. I know some lip balms and masks and stuff you have to constantly reapply in order to feel like you're maintaining that hydration. They say it's raspberry scented and flavored. I, I don't know if it's like a pregnancy thing, but it's very, very subtle to me and I can't really tell that it's raspberry. There's nothing off-putting about it. It's just the scent is very, very minimal, which some people will probably appreciate actually. So back to the claims, non-sticky, yes, I agree, except when you wanna like wipe it off if you apply it and you're like oh i don't want to wear it right now and wipe it off then i feel like it's a bit sticky but that's not exclusive to this lip mask the laneige one definitely does that for me as well something to keep in mind but when you're wearing it when you're applying it it's definitely not sticky it's very comfortable long lasting hydration yes definitely i can put it on and go days without reapplying and my lips feel like i had just applied it especially if you put it on Right before bed, just lather it right up. You're good for like ever, I swear. <laughs> High shine finish. Yes, I've got it on right now. I like to wear it just kind of over a lip liner. Um, you can wear it by itself over lip liner. I find it layers really nicely and it doesn't add tint. It's purple in the tub, but it goes on clear. They have like plump in the title, which yes and no. I always have a hard time with lip products that claim to be plumping. Any lips that are hydrated are gonna look more full and more plump and luscious than lips that have like nothing on or that are chapped or whatever. So yes and no, it's plumping, but it's not that hard to. So yes and no, it makes your lips look plump, but it's really not that hard to do. And not that this is even claiming to make your lips grow in size. I just find plump in the name can be a little bit deceiving. So just something to keep in mind. One thing that people probably won't like though, is this one does not come with an applicator um, where the Laneige one does. Personally, for me, it doesn't matter. I always just use my hands and I always get comments and people telling me I'm gross for not using the applicator because what I actually like to do is go to public washrooms and kind of rub my hands on any of the toilet seats, especially if they were like recently used and then go and apply my lip mask with my fingers. Um, I would never practice hand hygiene. There's not even anywhere to store it. Maybe if they're, like I know there's another Laneige one. Um, I have it somewhere. But in the lid, there's a little hole where you can put the applicator. Then I might be more inclined to use it, but if it's just kind of like the tub and the applicator and they're two separate things, it's just one more thing to carry around. And then where do you put it when it's all sticky? Overall though, a big win for me. I wouldn't say the formula is better 
than the Laneige or worse than the Laneige. I think they're very on par. I guess it just depends on um, if you're looking for any flavors. Laneige has way more options um, depending where you live. Price maybe, I mean, they're a dollar or two difference, but you do get more product in the Laneige. So I think it just looks really cute and I love trying new lip masks. So this one will go far for me for sure. Yeah, let me know if you'll be trying this out or if you'll stick to the old tried and true Laneige. I would love to hear it, let me know. Um, otherwise, I will see you at some point. I'm gonna be giving birth any day. It's a little terrifying. Um, yeah, so today's June 13th. I'm curious to see when I'll actually get around to posting this. So we will see. Anyways, that's all I have. We'll see in the next one whether that is next week, probably not. Next month, maybe, maybe next year. Maybe these are just my yearly YouTube videos now. I don't know. All right, bye.